Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and we have another upset. Number 5 Tennessee drops uh, here on the road to the Mississippi State Bulldogs who drop to 11-4. and four. What a freaking week already, and this is just Wednesday. We still have Thursday, Friday, and Saturday worth of games this week. And four of the top five teams have lost. And the only one that hasn't is UConn. They're currently only up by four at halftime, which is crazy. So, Tennessee's offense really struggled in the first half. Really tell of two halves. Tennessee shot the ball really, really poorly. They couldn't get into a rhythm. Their defense was playing okay. Mississippi State scored 35, but Tennessee only had 22. Their offense was out of rhythm. And I had a feeling they were going to be running the second half, and they did. Their defense really tightened up. Um, got a lot of steals. Forced like eight or nine turnovers in that second half. Tennessee's defense, I thought, played well. Don Connett really uh, played well uh, in the second half. He scored like, what, 20-something. He was playing really well. Uh, Zakai Ziegler has played really well. But just college basketball. Only in college basketball do you get four out of the top five teams dropping in, in the last, like, two days. And Louisville even got an upset over unranked Miami. Just... And I people will be like, oh, it's not good for the third year in a row. There's not a top team. Well, do you just want a team to go undefeated and win every game? Or do you want upsets like these? In the last 24 hours, just life on the road. I'll tell you, road games are tough to win. That's why Kentucky's win on the road against Florida was impressive. Because you got these teams here, all the other teams ahead of us in the top five, losing on the road. That's why our win was impressive. I think we're the best team regardless of ranking. I know people bring, still try to bring, oh, the UNCW loss. Every team has a bad game. And that's a huge upset for Mississippi State. That's their first win over a top five team since like 2000. And all these teams lost unranked opponents. Rocky flop tonight. I know people be like, oh, they blew a 15 point lead. But they were the number five team in the nation. They were in Mississippi State was unranked. I don't think Tennessee's a top ten, top five team, not even top ten. I mean, the ref kind of did save them because I thought that was a you know a clean steal with the call. Ten second violation could have been an easy layup, but still a huge win for Mississippi State regardless. That a uh, Tulo Smith was played really good tonight. Um, he had, how many points did he have? He had 23 points, Tolo Smith, 23 points, 4 rebounds. And Tolo Smith sealed the deal, getting that and one, made the free throw, then they got a steal and a dunk. And star freshman, that freaking Hubbard dude is amazing. Uh, that freshman, probably one of the top three freshmen in the country this year. He had 25 points, made like three or four threes. Him and Tolo Smith really carried uh, Mississippi State. Uh, both had 20 plus. Um, Deshaun Davis, while he had only five points, but four assists, four, five rebounds, played some really good defense. Um, that's Shaquille Moore, four points. Uh, Matthews, eight points. Uh, Jeffries, four points, six rebounds. He played some really good defense. Um, Sean Jones Jr., six points. It was really Tolo Smith and Hubbard that really carried. Mississippi State with a few other contributors here and there for Tennessee. Duncan, they had 28.6 rebounds. He really showed up in the second half. He's definitely going to be... He's definitely, he's, Tennessee wasted, really wasted a great game. Especially disappointing game offensively by Vascovi and, Jay, and uh, Josiah Jordan James. And a poorly coached game down the stretch. And they put up an effort, but they dug, but they dug themselves to a, in too big of a hole in the second half. It was really um, Zakai Ziegler and Don Connett versus Mississippi State. But that was a great game from Connett. 10 of 18 from the field, 4 of 9 from 3, uh, 4 of 6 from the line, had 3 steals. It's just nobody else for Tennessee really showed up besides him and Zakai Ziegler. Um, 28 points from him. Uh, Ziegler, 26 points, 7 assists. Vescovi was in foul trouble, but only had 2 points, 4 assists. Missed quite a, quite a lot of open threes. Really disappointing game for, from Vescovi. Uh, Josiah Jordan James, uh, only 3 points. 
809 points, 5 rebounds. You need more consistent games. He had a really good game last game. He just, he's not that consistent. A walk of 4 points. Meshack, 18 minutes, uh, 0 points. Had 6 rebounds, but 0 points. You just didn't get much outside of Kanat and Ziegler. Just, it was really a 2v2 in this basketball game. Mississippi State had Tolu Smith and um, Josh Hubbard versus Don Kanat and Zakai Ziegler. But Mississippi State too had a few other contributors. They had a big basket that before the shot clock expired and got it up. Just a great win for Mississippi State improved to 12 and 3. 77 72. I mean, they tried to sell this game. A lot of sloppy turnovers from Mississippi State, but fortunately they were survived to get a big steal in their late in the dunk to put the game away. And tonight's win was their first victory over a top five opponent since Oklahoma in 2002. But they came up short after racing the deficit wasn't quite enough. Uh, Ado was terrible early, and he paid for it later. A walk kind of just got dominated. Uh, San uh, Vascovi had good defense, but he lost, was kind of lost on offense. Shaq was not quite a ghost. He had a good rebounding, but besides that, mm -hmm. Josiah Jordan James was a ghost. Gainey, eh, I mean, I don't know. Zakai Ziegler stayed hot, and I, thought, and I think Don Knett's back. He had a few rough games, but I think now he's back. Another top five about the dust. Who else ain't played for him? Uh, Gainey, Jordan Gainey had nine minutes, zero point zero six zero rebounds, running some cardio uh, out there. Gainey, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, and along came Polly impersonation on point, and Freddie legally appeared in this game. Freddie uh, Delone the V, three minutes zero points. So good win for Mississippi State, the fourth top five team to fall. So that's really have to say here until next map. Lot peace.